In this video tutorial, I will show you, how you can create cool timeline, with Elementor Timeline Story Add-on Widget Pro. We can head to Timeline Plugin page and download the Timeline Story Add-on Widget Pro plugin. The plugin page link you can see on the screen, you can also find the link, below this video, in description section. Once we have bought the Timeline Story Add-on Pro plugin, we need to upload and install it in WordPress site. Next, we need to head to WordPress. In the dashboard we need to click Plugins tab and again click Add New. Next, we need to click Upload Plugins button. And click Choose File, from our computer and install it. Once the Timeline plugin is installed, we need to activate it. You can see here, the Timeline Story add-on tab, on the left side of the page. Next, we will see how to set up the Timeline Story in a new page. So let's click Pages tab and again click Add New. Here, we can give an appropriate title for the page, And next we can edit the page by clicking Edit with Elementor button. In Elementor dashboard, we can type and search for Timeline Story Widget and Next, drag and drop it in the new page. This is how, the default Timeline Story looks like when set up for first time. In this video tutorial, we will go through each feature in the Timeline Story add-on widget. First, we will see how to add Timeline Story content. First, we need to click Add Item button to add new timeline content. Next, we can add the title for the new content. And here we can add a label and date. In this field, we can add the sublabel, for the content. Next, we can upload a media element, like image, or video, or slideshow here. And lastly, we can add a brief description, for the content, in this description box. And we are done, with the setting up, of new timeline story content. Next, we can click this icon, to create duplicate copy of the content, in the timeline. And to delete a content, we need to click this icon. Next, let's see the timeline layout settings. We have three timeline layouts, the vertical, right, left layout, which is the default layout. The vertical, right only layout and the horizontal layout. We can change the styles, for each of the layouts here. This is the default style. We can select any of these styles. Classic style, elegant style, clean style, and the minimal style, which I will be showing in later videos. Let's edit the default style under the vertical right, left layout. Here, we can align the right side, text content, left, center or right in the timeline. And here, we can align the timeline left side, text content, left, center or right. We can change all the connector style here. Here, we can select and change the dot, or icon. We can choose and change any other icon from the list here. We can choose the position of the icon or label in the timeline with this settings. Next, we can choose to position of the media in the top, above the title, or below the title, or after the description in the content. We can choose to have a pop-up, timeline content here. We can select any of the animations, for the timeline content, visible on the live page. Here, we can hide, 
or show the navigation menu, like this. Next, let me show you, how we can style the timeline content one after the other in the next video.